Hello everyone! Last week I got a question in my Discord server. The question was like that, how easy it is to transition to React Native if you are a React developer. And in fact, it's quite easy because that was the whole point of developing the React Native so that React developers can easily transition to it and start developing mobile applications. In my experience, where I tried both React Native and also a custom renderer that we worked somewhat like React Native when developing UI for Battlefield 5, I can say that the transition is very smooth and uh, easy. This is mainly because you're still using the actual React library. It's not some wrapper around the React library or some sort of binding for the actual native environment. It is an actual JavaScript React. In both cases, in Battlefield and in React Native, it is just being run in a separate JavaScript runtime, so you can use all the JavaScript libraries that you are used to and basically feel at home. So today I'm going to show you how to write your first React Native application and actually encourage you to repeat the steps after me and then hack it and maybe develop a simple application, you know, to just break the ice with this new technology. Let's go. So the first thing I recommend you to download or to just install the Expo. Expo is a toolkit that allows you to develop React Native apps and then you can you don't even need to have the iPhone or Android. You can run you can just run them in the emulator or even in the browser which I'm going to show you now. So first step, go to expo.io and then copy this little script and pay install Expo CLI global. This will install the Expo command line tool. Here you go. After it's done, copy the second command which is expo init and then the name of the project. Let's go back, Exp expo init react native example. You're going to be presented with a bunch of options. You can start a TypeScript application and the TypeScript is the language I prefer. But in this case, we're going to just start with a blank JavaScript application. Press enter and wait a little while. Okay, it's done and now we can run it in Android, iOS or web target. We're going to use the web. I'm going to run yarn web. Oh, wait a second. We're going to go to CD React Native example and now we can run yarn web. I don't know. I, actually, I don't even have the iOS uh, emulator installed. So now in my second screen, let me fix it. I actually want it to be here. First thing you will see after you launch the app will be this screen showing you that the server is running. You can use the Expo app on your phone to scan this QR code and then it will automatically transfer your app to your phone so you can test it on your mobile device. But I don't want to do it just now and also I don't have anything set up on my phone to, to record it for YouTube. So let's run it in web browser. And as you can see, we have this app running here. Right now it's only one screen and it only has this text, open up app.js to start working on your app. So let's go back. I'm gonna open another terminal tab, go to workspace, react native example. Now I'm gonna open the editor and here's the application structure. Look around, make yourself familiar. And the entry point for our application right now is app.js. Let's hack it a bit. So first thing I want to do is to make it more familiar to me. I, I don't know, if you developed React apps before, you probably are more used to this structure. Let's create a new folder, assert and then you would have your app.js there. How can we fix it? Let's open package.json and you can see this main attribute, which is pointing to node modules, expo app entry.js, which is showing to expo what is our entry point. So let's open node modules, look for A, B, C, D, I'm looking for expo, should be ex expo, and here is app entry. So let's copy the contents, let's close node modules, let's create a file in the root called index.js, paste the contents of the previous file here. And now we want to say that app, our app component, will be in the src app.js. We don't have to write .js here, it will resolve it automatically. Now we can move app.js to src. We go to package.json and now we say that the entry point is actually index.js. Let's go to the terminal close it, 
and start again. Now we click run in the browser and it still seems to be working. Let's go, let's go back to the code, open up the JS and let's try to edit the code. Remove this text. And here is, by the way, the difference between React Native and uh, React in the browser is that you have a different set of components. If you open the browser, you would see that this text component was actually transformed, in our case, into a div. This is because, by default, React uh, Expo is using React Native Web. React Native Web components that allow it that allows it to render React Native components as web components in the browser. So let's go back to the app and actually change the text. Hello, this is my first React Native app. Let's save it. Go back to the browser. I'm going to close this sandbox. We don't need it here. And if I open our app, that text is changed. Actually, if you try to launch the app and the code editor at the same time on the same screen, you will see that Hot Reload is already enabled here. I can write, hey, is there Hot Reload? A. And then save it. You will see that it automatically updated this page. This is it for today. I encourage you to just go and download the React Native Expo environment, play around, try to make your own app. And by the way, the other reason to make this video today was to tell you about this new tool that I've bought. So I've bought Atom Mini Pro ISO from Blackmagic Design and I want to uh, try it in different, with different setups. So first one is here where I will record the videos using it. Now, from now on, I will stop using OBS. And I'm going to use this little tool here. And another reason, and another thing that I want to try is a live stream. So what do you think if we have a live stream next Wednesday between 7 and 8 p.m. Central European time? Let me know in the comments if you like the idea of live stream where we can chat. You, uh, you will ask me questions. We will talk about how to develop your career, how to develop React applications, how to solve different, I don't know, how to test applications, whatever you want to. Uh, you can also join my Discord server and we can discuss this upcoming event there as well. I will post the message about the up, on upcoming, upcoming stream there. So let's try to do this. See you next time.